As coronavirus spreads, health officials say businesses will have to make sacrifices. We're going to need a lot of support from employers and, um, and uh, uh, housing to, to uh, allow people to be working from home. Some have already taken action. GE Healthcare tells 12 News we're providing employees guidance regarding flexible work arrangements, health screening, symptoms monitoring, and travel restrictions. And Johnson Controls is taking the precautionary step of suspending non-customer or business critical air travel for our employees in all countries. What will we do? When will we restrict travel? Will we require employees to work from home or to stay home and, and stay in quarantine? Employment lawyer Sarah Platt says while companies struggle to find answers, employees may also be at risk. Employers don't have an obligation to pay employees who are not working. And so for employees, there can be an economic hit if they need to stay home. I think there'll be more conversations as the weeks go on as to what the impact would be on workplaces, schools. Uh. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett says the city has been actively preparing and Congressman Brian Stiles spoke with us about the federal response after meeting with Vice President Mike Pence. We're making progress. We need to remain vigilant, uh, but we really need to listen to our health care experts is to making decisions regarding what we should do differently in our behavior. Health officials say the disruptions are only beginning. I think we can expect there to be um, more of that, not less, in the next, you know, upcoming months. Okay, we heard the attorney say some workers may not be paid if they're forced to stay home in quarantine, but are their jobs protected? You know, it's a good question, and it actually may be a gray area. The attorney says if they're home because they're sick, well, they're probably covered by family and medical leave laws. But if they're not sick and they don't have any symptoms, but they're home under a voluntary quarantine, which is something that health officials are recommending for people who may have been exposed, it's unclear whether that's covered. And that's why state health officials are saying they're probably going to need some help from employers as this progresses. Ken Wayne Scott reporting live in downtown Milwaukee tonight.